starts moving around and to form her arms and to form her body. Where she is? What the hell? Holy shit. Where she is? That's her. Where? <sighs> Ah, it's a nice wedding. So, Linus, what do you do? Well, I would suggest everyone to go home. Oh, I've heard. Oh, you can make an arcane check. You can, you've seen enough. Nice. Oh, perfect critical. Oh, All right, so let's let's lay everything down on the line before you. You've realized that the butler is using runes of stuff he obviously hasn't seen before. You mm -hmm. have uh, heard the stories, or at least you would have assumed that people of this power have enchanted multiple stuff and maybe wards. Yeah, those are wards there. You can, you can make that jump of logic. But with the power of this banshee, it's an actual banshee, is possessing, something is magically enhancing it and rooting it to this plane. So if you could disrupt whatever wards were tampered with, because they were obviously tampered with, because all this is going on, you could dramatically affect what is happening to the Banshee. So you know that there are arcane wards somewhere that are causing this creature to be enhanced. Okay. I'll shout it out. We need to find the magical wards that, are, that enhance this creature. Well, I'm not sure where they are. Wards, like, like little blue circles. Well, they could look like that, I guess. Or oh, maybe this magical saxophone. No. Karun so, and I found some some wards that changed our our state of mind. We were trying to take you there. So because the house is now a mobile creature, you had, the the real issue is finding which room you need to burn, destroy, or affect, because they're all now part of a, a, a body. <sighs> Did we just transport into a Dark Souls game? Alanis, it's your turn. Well, so, I guess I made us trouble. The red wedding all over again. Well, you did save the soul of a human. Um, is, if I aim and shoot to the house, is something that like is gonna deal damage or wasting time? Uh, if you're shooting a house, that's a bit of a waste of time. You're gonna have to be very creative with this. Oh gosh, guys, please help me out. <laughs> I don't have idea. I don't know where to start we... looking the, for the thing. Well, have we got any items? From her store that can transport us into the house. Do, 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 do. Uh, you do not have any items on you. So there's no doll or ring or grace or anything. I don't have my gear, guys. I'm in my nightgown. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> After all, all the stuff, stuff you put, you put us through, us through you, 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 sit you sit there in your nightgown. <laughs> Um, can I do an investigation to see if we can find something outside Investigation, here? you have to interact with something, that would be perception. If perception, you want to look for sorry, something. sorry, sorry, yeah. You can perception. Perception. I don't have much, but I can give you two knives, Shiloh. Ah. So, at the, at the very least, because all these rooms are being mushed around in order to form the body of this creature, you see there's openings. You could try and jump inside the creature. Okay, I'm gonna run and try jumping the window, like if I can see. There's I'm... no windows, just cracks in the oh, walls. Oh yeah, that's true. I'm gonna try jump in the easiest place to get inside. So you can use your bonus dash. Oh, my bonus dash. So I can only go thirty-five. Used your dash, you can move twice. So oh, 70. Yeah, so 70 is the total, right? That can move on. Yeah, it should be 60, twice your movement. Twice your movement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So you, you can get to the, the base of this creature. Okay, I'm here. 
and you'll have to make some sort of acrobatics to get inside there without being harmed. Yep. Now I don't get the good rolls. <laughs> so you're going to take damage, trying to get inside there. You take three damage. Okay. What kind of damage? Piercing and bludgeoning, as the parts of the house are moving around. Okay. Is the house literally just reshaping, or is it yeah, growing? It's literally formed uh, the, the humanoid shape. So, so it hasn't like shrunk or grown in any nope. area. Just okay. the pieces moved around to form a humanoid shape. That's good. Uh, it is the Banshee's turn. If, uh, no, you have an action. You have an action. You used your bonus. So you could use your action to navigate around by using perception or something else that you could be creative about. Or you could just start lighting shit on fire. Fire? Oh. I feel like I want to try climb again. All right, make another acrobatics. No, you're inside the house, by the way, so you know. Yep. She, she dances the through the halls. You're inside the house. <laughs> so I'm back in the house. You are inside the monster house, like the okay. house that's forming a humanoid body. Okay. But tell me, do you remember which room you have to go to that a rune is next to? Uh-huh, I remember. I need to get out of the chest room to the wall that's like the painting and then you can... Oh, actually you have like a, a shortcut. The shortcut is next to the wine. Yes, but the, the important thing is what room... And I should hide all this so you don't get uh, cheat cheat. But what room is next to the room? It, it's the room with the tables. Which tables? How I, it's like that, that room that have like um, a bunch of tables and you can go through two doors. One have the wine room and the other one have the chess room. That room. Uh, you, had, you, you make what you think is your way to that room, but you don't see anything around. You have picked the wrong room. Ah! All right, Banshee's turn. So uh, uh, the left side of the house uh, starts raising up, which is the one that... Uh, Alanis is in and slams down onto the ground. Uh, who's there? Actually, Alanis is the one who's pissed her off the moment. She'll just go after that. So, you feel the life being drained out of you as I make a roll here, which is a spell attack. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, no, no. Does that. Oh, that does. Oh. Ah. So that's 6d6 plus 2 necrotic damage. Well, it was a crit, so did you double that? Yeah, I did double that. The original okay. was 3d6, and that's ah. corrupted touch. I think you died? Yep. Yeah. Yep, that would be death. I don't know what happens when a banshee brings your life down to zero, but I know it's not pretty. Yeah, but the question is, that is that still considered a crushing blow? Hmm. Did it do more than double her health? Is the question. It did not. So. so she's just unconscious. That's all. Yeah. Just so. unconscious, and she's somewhere in this house. We can't. Yeah, even somewhere her. in the house. That's fine. Alright, So, uh, Alice is in the left side of the house, in in like the arm like area, and she comes Wait, tumbling out of it on the ground. Uh, her body is pulsating with purple energy. Shall. I'm not Shala. I skipped um, Karun. Karun, your turn. It's the only way. There's a risk when I... Um, yeah, he sees Elanis fly out um, and uh, goes charging in. Okay, do you remember what room is next to a room? Um... The rune in the southwest corner. Can you name that that room? Like what was in it? What type? What was its room purpose? What would you name that room? room? Oh, the the rune of calming. No, no, the the room. What room? <clears throat> oh right, um, the room that it was closest to uh, was the 
hotel room, I believe. Alright, then... make a uh, acrobatics to try and get there. The nine, you will still take damage, but you will make it there. So you take four damage. Go ahead and mark that. You are in the coal room. You are on the ceiling of the coal room, but the walls have crumbled away, and you see the the ward. Um, I like to uh, step into it. It's on the ceiling, or it's, you're on the ceiling, so it's on the floor. You would not be able to step into it. Okay, can I shoot at it with my bow? You can. I'm going to do just that. You do know, though, it would be smarter to use fire or something that has more force. Um, Could you make a makeshift fire? Do you have anything that would use... He's next to a furnace for him. That would take a good bit of movement. Um... Wait, sorry, explain that, Doctor? You're next to the furnace room? Because you're in oh, the right. Okay. Which is forming um, the base of the spine. But so you, I... you, you can instantly destroy the ward if you have a, a bludgeoning weapon or a fire. Or you just deal damage to it with piercing and slashing. Okay, so fire is obviously better. If you have access to it. If All not, right, just roll really high. Alright, um, I'm only going to get one shot at this, so I'm going to go before I move. By the way, guys, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yay! Yay. Woo! <laughs> and that is enough damage. So we just see the left side of the house start crumbling away, like the spine gives out. So now it lays down on its chest in front of you. Left hand, right hand, and head laying down in front of you all. And you pop out the back. Oh god, I hope not. You do. <laughs> and this is this is it, the human only forms from chest up, I should mention. <laughs> All right. Shot. Your turn. Great. Would you like to right. do something? You're missing one animal and you're in your nightgown. Now <gasps> Zanzibar's missing? Yes. Right. What about so, the puppy? The puppy I alive? shouldn't mind you, because it looks like you might need some help. You don't have to do combat actions. This is still a creature you can interact with and try to manipulate emotionally if you understand its story. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm going to spend my move and action to move there. Just get closer to Alanis. And, um, I'm quite distraught that the Santa bar is missing. It's usually on top of my head. When did it disappear? When oh you woke God. up in your nightgown? Oh, I didn't notice it. You heard a niece at one point, but you didn't notice where he was. Yeah, I turned, <laughs> I turned towards, uh, this, this house, this <laughs> banshee. Ah, and I look up to it, and I scream out, um, Where is Zanzibar? What do you do to my rat? <laughs> you make a persuasion on that, trying to make an emotional plea. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, so sad. You, so, you do not affect the creature with that, but you do see Zanzibar pop out of where the head would be, on top of the roof. And Zanzibar appears to be wounded. But in it, it didn't die? It has not dead yet. Like, it, its leg has a giant scratch on it. And the fur has come off. Chala starts tearing up. Do you wish Why? to make any action in revenge? Um, no, I already spent my action in two dash, so. Okay. Ivern, you can make an emotional plea or you can make an action. Mm, I don't think Iron is the emotional type, so uh, I'll use my so. bonus action to enter my blade song stance, so I get extra AC and movement. Then I'll move 
towards the house 40 feet 